What the fuck is going on everybody? My name is Paul, welcome to my channel. So I've actually been looking forward to making this video all week because this is the kind of video where like, sure, like this has been done before, but I can put my own unique spin on this and there's definitely one of you that's bound to benefit from this. So I'm just gonna dive into it. These are the top five, five or so things that I would tell my 18 to 20 year old self. So right around this time, I was going into college. These were like my first couple years of college. So I'm gonna talk to you guys like you were my 18 year old self. And during this time, it was a very transformative period in my life where like I made some pretty big mistakes, like I fucked up, but at the same time, I did what I needed to do to set myself up to get me where I am now. And Honestly, like I'm pretty content where I'm at now. I'll say that my regrets, the regrets that I have, largely involve girls. <laughs> but even that being said, I'm still I'm still happy where I'm at right now. What gives this video meaning for me is the fact that we're coming up on the last hour of me being 24. And this year I've I've accomplished a lot in my life. I've done more than a lot of people have done their whole lives this year in terms of my traveling specifically and stuff like that but anyway the top things that I would tell my 18 year old self first one take a fucking gap year dude like this isn't something that's even in your mind right now but just just take a fucking gap year you don't need to go to school right away travel try new jobs try different shitty entry-level jobs that you just and switch it up every six months because you're young and this is the time to fucking experiment you don't need to go to school right away get that job at fucking zoo creatures dude like <laughs> you've wanted to work with animals your whole life and you never made the effort to get into zoo creatures after you got basic retail experience that's definitely something that you should do and to everyone else, I highly recommend taking a gap year. I've seen, over the last year, I've seen a bunch of YouTubers that have done that, like right after college. And it's crazy, or not even college, like high school. They just take a gap year and fucking travel for like a year. And whether or not their parents pay for it or not, I think that's fucking awesome. Embrace that privilege if you have it, like if your parents pay for it. But if you don't, and you just have to like save up enough money to just do it and fuck off for six months to a year, just do it. That is insane. That's something that I just didn't realize I could just do because I had it so ingrained in my mind that I had to go to college right away. And I never really considered my other options. So just really think about what you want to go to college for and just don't do it right away. Definitely take a gap year. It could be the best thing you ever fucking do when you're young. Next thing, don't be afraid to take chances on girls. I know this is like a this is like a guy thing, but like, yeah, just when I was when I was 18 to 20, I was a fucking pussy. I didn't have the confidence to just go up to girls and talk to girls. Just don't be afraid to take chances on girls. And there's one girl specifically from my history who had a tremendous impact on my personal development. She like influenced my like transferring colleges and shit like that for all the younger guys out there if there is a girl in your life that has had a beneficial tremendous impact on your life and you're very good friends with them and there's some kind of attraction there's some kind of chemistry there fucking dive in and take the risk because if you don't shit will probably fall apart anyways and you'll always be asking like oh what if this is pretty fucking cliche but like it's better to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all because you'll never know, like if you don't take that risk. Next one, going along the lines of college, don't be afraid to pursue animals, your main passion in school. I don't regret, I have a feeling I'm gonna keep going back to this, but like I don't regret pursuing computer engineering, my career path at the moment, because of all of the people I met along the way have made that journey worth it. And that goes for people I met in school, people I can call my like great friends, and also people I've met while working. They've just been all around awesome. So I don't regret that. 
But at the same time, if I could go back to my 18 year old self, I'd be like, yo, dude, take the fucking risk, dude. Major in biology. You're passionate about it, which will in turn make you good at it. And you won't have to try as hard and you'll end up where you're meant to be. But a lot of people don't realize, and this is something that has really resonated with me over the last like couple years, but if you're really passionate about something, you can fucking make it work. You will succeed at that thing if you're passionate about it, especially in the academic setting, because it's just, shit will just come easier to you. I had to fucking like try so fucking hard to get through computer engineering, both my master's degree and undergrad. And if it wasn't for the people I surrounded myself with, I wouldn't have made it through. I straight up would have dropped out because I just, I had to force myself to fucking do it. <laughs> it wasn't an entirely fun time, but I did enjoy the time I spent with the people I met through, through my college days. But don't be afraid to major in something in college that you're passionate about as long as you have a realistic plan behind it. I could have majored in biology and I could have become a wildlife biologist from the get-go and that would have allowed me to travel and research different reptiles in the wild because that's that's what my passion has largely been my whole life. Reptiles specifically. I love the scaly boys. <laughs> anyway, I digress. I also kind of touched on this already but when you're young don't commit to one job try a bunch of different jobs especially after like high school you have like that the wiggle room of 18 to 21 pick a job get that job see how you feel after six months if you don't like it dip try something new ideally this would be without going to school so that you have that extra flexibility something i've realized in recent years is that i want to explore photography and granted i can just do this whenever on my spare time kind of wish I had taken up a job as like an intern for some photography studio or some shit because that would have allowed me to learn the basics of photography and that would have brought me closer to where I'd like to be now instead of now I'm like oh I like photography now I have to like learn it and study it and practice on my off time whilst working another full-time job but it's okay Life is too short to dedicate to one company. I'm sure you probably heard about like the Great Resignation and all this shit that's going on now in the world because of the big C and everything. So I am a strong proponent of that. Another thing I'd like to tell my 18 year old self is to approach more girls, dude. Like you really have nothing to lose uh, from doing this. Just like just random girls in the street or even in college where you actually have like a common ground to just go up to a girl like, oh hey, like I know you from X class or like, oh I I saw you at that party or whatever. Like I used to be such a fucking pussy about that shit and I would just never make the incentive. I would always assume that it was like weird for me to approach a girl or like to talk to a girl and I, I always got super, super in my head about it. But it's really just not a big deal. Just talk to them, say hi, you know, start a conversation. They're just, they're people too. It's not, it's not a real, it's not a big deal. Another one is to explore online income. This is something that I'm starting to do now. Like I could have started this YouTube channel years ago, like straight up. Well, no, that's a lie. I didn't have the confidence to do this, but yeah, like there's just so many ways to make money online and it's so important in today's world to have more than one stream of income. Granted, I don't expect this YouTube channel to make me any money anytime soon, but on average, it takes people, what, like two or three years to blow up if they're doing it right. If I had started a YouTube channel when I was 18, I'd be fucking loaded right now because <laughs> I'm able to plan and execute stuff fairly well, even from back then. So, yeah, <laughs> explore ways to make money online and stick with it and be consistent. The angle for this bit is off because I've since adjusted it and I thought of this after I filmed the original video. But one more thing I'd like to tell my 18 year old self is to be present with your friends and enjoy the time that you spend with them because you don't realize that you take your friendships for granted 
and as you get older, you're going to see them less and less as you get busier, and especially as your goals and interests kind of diverge from literally everyone else in your life. Because at the time of recording this, I'm the only one that's decided I want to take a stab at social media and starting a YouTube channel. So there's that, but then there's also, there's a lot of other stuff that's going on as, for me as a 24 year old that's causing me to slip from my friends. But definitely try to be as present as you can and live in the moment with your friendships because you're not going to realize that one of these days could be the last time your friend group gets together and hangs out. <laughs> it sounds super sad, but it's true. We're all getting so busy as adults. But yeah. Yeah, making this video is pretty surreal for me because I remember hearing when I used to be a server at TJ Fridays and one of the people that I worked with was like, oh, like I was at the prime of my life when I was 24, blah, 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 blah. And for whatever reason, that kind of like stuck with me because at the time I was like 20, I was 18 to 20 or whatever. And like now here I am, I just finished the prime of my life, like physically, like able to eat whatever I want up until now I'm like, now my body's gonna start to like reject shit if I eat shitty foods I gotta like really dial in my nutrition all that good stuff but yeah I'm I'm really proud of the person that I am today and I'm grateful for my experiences that I've had up until this point and I'm really looking forward to just sharing more of what's next with you guys and giving you just advice from what I've experienced throughout my life I mean granted I'm only 24 for the next like hour <laughs> but like I don't know if you're like a younger person watching this I definitely think that I can give you some value and take you on some cool adventures so yeah that's all I have I really hope that I hope that this video resonates with you guys and you can get some value out of it and yeah thanks for watching if you made it this far definitely like and subscribe and I will catch you on the next one